For our child's pose armlets, we're gonna be working on our active overhead shoulder flexibility while we're in our external shoulder rotation in a position where our upper back is not allowed to arch and help us at all. For this position, you wanna be starting in a comfortable child's pose, whether that means that your hips are happy enough to sit your butt back towards your heels in space, or whether you prefer doing child's pose with a block or two under your butt so that you can relax in this position. I want you to choose something with your legs that feels easy and comfortable because we're gonna be making it harder on your arms. So whatever your starting child's pose is going to look like, we're gonna start with our arms straight. And I'm gonna slide my hands back a teeny bit closer towards my knees. So I've got some space between my chest and my thighs. My upper back is gonna be rounded here. I'm gonna make a thumbs up sign with my right arm pointing my thumb towards the ceiling. And I'm gonna keep that thumb pointing towards the ceiling. As I lift that arm as high as I can, lower it down with control. Making sure that thumb stays pointing up, it doesn't start to rotate towards the midline. That's gonna lift my shoulder blade out of my external shoulder rotation. Outside of that armpit, it's gonna stay towards the floor and keep that thumbs up. I also don't want to let that elbow bend out to the side, nor do I want my chest to twist open. So the only thing moving is going to be our upper arm as we lift and lower with control. Aiming for eight to 12 lifts on one arm and then the other. If this feels like you can't lift that arm at all, we're gonna slide our hands even closer to our knees, give us a little bit more space until you can lift that arm. If this feels very easy, you can start with your chest a little bit lower, but I would challenge you to pick a position where your upper back is still rounded, as opposed to if you have a very deep child's pose and your upper back can arch, that's gonna make this a little bit easier. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.